Hey guys, welcome to the Body Effects Sugar Skull tutorial. To start off this makeup, uh, just make your face completely white. I am using a tag white body paint and I'm applying it with a face painting sponge. Now you can also use a kabuki brush if you like. So when your face is completely white, uh, go in with another color and contour your face. I am using a tag pearl peach, like a nice peachy color. And yeah, I'm just going in underneath my cheekbones, a little bit around my hairline, a little bit under my jaw, and a bit in the temples as well. So when you've done that, outline around your eyes uh, to create the skull eye sockets. Uh, for this I am using a small round brush and some black body paint. Obviously do the other eye as well, try and keep it nice and symmetrical. You can use your own eyebrows as a bit of a guideline. And after you've done that, create a nice little skull nose and also outline the temples. Now I'm going in with a brown body paint. I'm going over my black lines a little bit so that they are a little bit more blended into the brown. Remember to fill in your temples as well and I also added a little bit of brown just to my nose. Next step I am using a brown star blend which is a very highly pigmented powder and I am using that to add some extra depth to my contours. Using the same powder, I'm going to be using our badass stencils uh, and I'm just going to add a little extra texture and detail to the base. Also using the same powder I'm adding a couple of little extra details to give it more of a skull sort of look. I'm also adding a couple of little shades next to my eyebrows to give me more of a mean look. Cool, so once you've done that, you can get your black body paint and basically you just start adding some swirls and some extra details to make your sugar skull extra pretty. So I'm adding these swirls just to kind of highlight my cheekbone area. And I'm also intensifying those frown lines a little bit. You can choose to add a lipstick if you want, um, otherwise you can just leave your lips white. Now I'm adding the extra details around the mouth to really give it that skull look. I'm just adding simple lines to the mouth to give it the effect of um, some skeleton teeth. I find that these simpler lines look a little bit nicer and also they take way less time than drawing the full teeth. And while I've still got my black on my brush, I'm just adding some extra little details here and there. And now it's time to add your little prosthetics. So you can get these from Body Effects. 
you just apply a little bit of prosade onto the back and they glue onto the face really easily. After you've stuck on the prosthetics, go in with a black eyeshadow or star blend and just go around the prosthetics and kind of blend them into the makeup a little bit more. Still using my black star blend, I'm just going around the face and adding a little bit of extra shading to the areas that might need it. I'm just going in around the mouth and doing some extra shading under the cheekbones. Cool, so now if you want to you can add a little bit of extra bling or colour to your eyes. I am using a Sugar Pill Loose Gold Eyeshadow Powder. And then I'm literally just going in around the face and adding any other little extra details. I've added a little spider web just at the top which gives it quite a um, sugar scully sort of vibe. And I'm adding a little bit of extra gold around my eyes and a little bit to the tip of my nose. And that's the finished look. So I've added some black contact lenses and some sugar pill eyelashes. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll catch you next time.